guys, this is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. I have a fun review slash wear test on a new eyeshadow palette by a new brand called Yuma Beauty. And I also picked up one of the lipsticks along with this launch that is now available in Ulta Beauty. It's supposed to be available in the Ulta Beauty stores on May 5th, but it's available on their website right now. Uh, they included 51 foundations and they also included 18 concealers. They had lip glosses, three eyeshadow palettes, a uh, eyeliner pen, they had lip glosses, I want to say about 20 something lipsticks, They, I want to say they had a highlighter and contour duels. They came with it, okay? They were like, we're not dropping one product, we're dropping all the products and I appreciate that. So Yuma Beauty is new to the scene and so just a little background information about the brand. It says, uh, and I'm reading from the Yuma Beauty website itself, it says about us, Yuma Yuma pronounced Yuma means beautiful and we believe that the beauty starts the moment you decide to be yourself. We exist to rewrite the rules of inclusivity and diversity to create a world of beauty truly for all of us. And it's founded by a Nigerian born LA and London based former beauty executive Sharon Schulter. The Yuma Beauty range is rebellious, innovative and creative for all. So basically, um, I know she is striving to make like her makeup brand very inclusive and it also deals with uh, deep African imagery and also plays on the folklore. Here's how we have this beautiful palette right here. It's the Black Magic palette and all of the palettes are named Black Magic and they have a different theme behind them. And it says, a Yuma, we are empowered tribe. Our race is human. Our people are free. Our language is color. And all, all are welcome to our beautiful tribe. So it's really a great message on our website. So I really think that you should check out the website. Um, that's yumabeauty.com. They have a beautiful campaign. They have women reflected of every race, type of walk of life. Um, they have little messages. They have a beautiful uh, statement about the actual the CEO and then you can go on there and you can look at all the products that are available for you to purchase as well. So I know there was a lot of articles going out about how she wanted this brand to be very inclusive and she kind of made this brand for people who felt left out in the beauty community. So even with like her 51 foundations, uh, she has them broken up into different skin uh, tones and to different um, like if you're dry or if you have dewy skin or oily skin, rather a combo oily skin. And then within the foundation range, she has certain ingredients inside the foundation that help with problem um, problems that each particular skin type has. So if you're like honey, they have certain um, ingredients to help with those particular people of those complexion deep fair, so on and so forth. So she actually released three palettes and one of them was teased a lot and I'll put a picture here and I kind of talked about it in my, what I was waiting on UPS to bring me haul. And I want to say that was the Pulse palette. It had a lot of reds and blues and I was like, oh my God, that is beautiful. So that palette was not actually available on the day the brand released, but this particular palette was the Allure palette. And when I saw it, I was like, like, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what the inside of the palette looks like and this color scheme is gorgeous. It is to die for. So you have two, four, six, eight, ten shades. All five are shimmers and the bottom five are mattes. So you have an equal matte to shimmer ratio. I do appreciate that. I'm going to get into swatches and I'm going to actually do something a little bit different for this video because I know one of my subscribers really wanted to see a wear test on this shadow palette and I was just like that's fine that's not even an issue but I was thinking like how can I do this you know because a lot of times I will record a first impression of a palette and then I'll come back maybe a couple weeks later and do a review or I'll definitely title something review and final thoughts um, I never really do a full review on a palette <laughs> that I've used once because I can't even formulate my thoughts that much on if I'm really gonna like a palette but I wore this palette earlier today and I wore it to work and I used the shades uh, Romantic Love 
divine and allure yes i was super glittery at work asked me do i care but i'm going to insert the footage of that and i have some check-ins where i checked in when i first put on the um eyeshadow you can see my timestamp on my apple watch i took it off so i can do swatches for you guys and then i come back on about eight hours later to show you what i'm looking at i am untouched and i explain that in the clips that i'm going to insert so i hope you guys like that so you guys could just see the wear time of the shadows and you can kind of get that in real time along with this video if you're trying to purchase this palette and just trying to make a decision do you want to do that or not so like i said i'm trying something new and i hope you guys really like it. i think it's going to work out well because a lot of times when i do a video of a palette i am constantly wearing the palette but sometimes the makeup community moves so fast i don't have a chance to come back on and be like yes stay with it or no don't worry about it. <laughs> so this right here, you'll definitely get to see the wear time of the shadows in real time. And I can just kind of insert it in this video. And I think it's, I think it's going to work out fine. So you guys let me know down below. And so let's go ahead and jump into this. So facts about the palette. So this palette retails for $44. I purchased this from the Ulta Beauty website. So that is great. All the products are available on the Ulta Beauty website, which is wonderful because we can try this brand out. No must, no fuss, because Ulta, as you know, has a great return policy. Not to mention, I have some Ulta points. You can redeem them. Okay, great. Palette retails for $44. This is the Mac Magic Palette. All the palettes are called Black Magic, and then they have a different theme. So this is the Allure Palette. And so this is right here is a rubberized textured cardboard. This is definitely embossed. And even on the front of here, it's embossed. And this is the actual like sleeve that the palette came in. Beautiful. This imagery is so, so pretty. So on the back, you have a lore. And then it says it's a verb. And it says powerfully attract a charm. And it's distributed by Uni Yuma Beauty, uh, New York, London, made in Italy. And then you can also check them out at yumabeauty.com, like I mentioned before. This palette is good for 24 months once you open it. But of course, if you keep your palettes in a cool, dry area, that shouldn't be an issue, okay? Did you know we're makeup junkies? Who going through a palette in that amount of time? I'll wait. And if you do, that's fine. Keep your judgment to yourself, okay? Because I don't pay in shadows. <laughs> One day I will. <laughs> However, let's go ahead and jump into some swatches. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also picked up one of the lipsticks. This lipstick retails for $24. I picked up the shade Miriam, and I talk about that a little bit later on in the video. So let's go ahead and jump into some swatches, and then I will do demo this beautiful look that I have here today. And you also see the clips of the look I came up with earlier and how it held up after eight hours of working in the pharmacy. And I work at a very busy fast paced pharmacy. So, yep. And I have glitter on my forehead because... So these are all 10 swatches of the palette. Okay. Hey guys. So we're going to start this demo. And as you guys saw, somewhere I put in the video, I'm just like tapping out my concealer. I did use this palette already once and um, got great results. I was able to wear it for nine hours, eight, eight hours, about eight hours and no issues. Okay, so I have my eyelids primed with the Too Faced uh, concealer right here. And then this is the shade in Butterscotch. This is the Born This Way Concealer. And then I have my eyebrows filled in using the ABH Brow Definer in the shade Caramel. And I kind of drugged the concealer down here, if you're wondering, because I grabbed a lot. <laughs> so in my first look, I played with the shade uh, Romantic. And then I also played with the shade Love. So I definitely want to go in the shade, what is it, Olsen here, this shade. Did I? I used a little bit of this shade last time. And... This is the main shade I use for I'm going to go in with my Sonya G Blender Pro right here. And I'm going to take the shade Olsen, which is this gorgeous yellow color. And we're going to see how that performs. And I'm just lightly putting this in as a transition shade. And it's not really showing up. 
it's giving a little wash of color, but. Let's see, I got a lot more on my brush now. So let's see. No. It's not terrible, but it's not really doing anything. But we're going to keep pressing forward. I didn't have that trouble earlier with that shade Romantic. It did give me pink, but it did look like it was pink. This just looks like, I don't know. <laughs> this is just like a, a, a wash of something right here. So we shall see. I mean, I can tell I did put something there. And you probably could tell just a little bit, but hmm. okay. I'm gonna change brushes. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G crease brush right here. No, that is the wrong brush. So this is the Sonia G crease brush right here. Make sure it's wiped off. Gonna go in with the green shade called Lush. I'm gonna tap off any excess and I'm gonna focus this in the crease area. Okay, and that is picking up pretty nicely. And I'm just kind of working slow because I don't want to bring the green up too high. Sometimes, <laughs> like my look earlier today, I was like, oh, I didn't quite mean to bring that shade up so high. It's like, I am going to work. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, <laughs> just roll with it. <laughs> And I'm just going to bring just a little right here because when I look straight on, I got to make sure I have enough to hit the areas. And I think that's what, what happens. It's like I'm always so concerned that I'm creating, creating those dimensions that the color just starts taking over. Going in with my Wayne number four brush and I'm just going to lightly blend out the edge of this and I will go back in with that also in color just to kind of help that. That isn't looking too bad. Uh, and I'm going to go back in with Olsen. That's the yellow shade on the way number four. And just go ahead and kind of lightly buff out that edge. Going back in with my crease brush from Sonya G. Going back in with the shade Lush right here i want to go ahead and add a tiny bit more to this inner corner right here i didn't ever well, i didn't actually put a lot of shadow in that particular area i don't want it to seem like it's patchy now going in with my sonia g and this is the worker pro brush I'm gonna go in with the shade Opulence. This is Opulence's deep aubergine color right here. And I'm gonna put that in the outer V. And this color is nice and dark. And I'm just gonna make sure they meet right there in the crease. Okay, and then for my lid space, I'm gonna go in with the shade, uh, let's see. I wanna take Mystical, but I wanna use Entrenches also. So I'm gonna start with Mystical. So one thing I did realize with the shadows earlier today is because these sh uh, shimmer shades, they're very much, they're very glittery. They do have high pigmentation and high shine and you don't necessarily need to use a glitter glue with them, but I'm going to uh, make sure I take a synthetic brush, going back to my little favorite Tarte brush for like, especially for shimmer shades. And I'm gonna pick up Mystical right here. And this brush, it picks up a lot on your hair as you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some Fix Plus. And I'm just gonna pat that on this 
outer half of my mobile eyelid and I'm gonna fuse it with that what was that color called I'm gonna fuse it with that shade opulence which is that deep opera shade color and you see how it has a lot actually has a lot of pigment it's very pretty and I have a couple specks of glitter that are traveling but nothing nothing too serious so I'm just going to build that up. And I have very little fallout with these shades. And the shades, actually, it's not a lot of kick up in the pan either. So I think the only thing you kind of have to worry about is um, some of the glitter fallout. So I'm just going to take one more pass with Mystical and I'm going to spray it one more time. And I'm going to bring it over just a little bit more. So now I have picked up en Enchantress right here. I sprayed my brush. I just using the same brush, flipped it over, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inner lid. Ooh. See, I was like, yes, I need to use this color because it looked like lemony goodness. Gonna pick up just a tiny bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I did the other eye, and I applied some lashes. The lashes I'm wearing is Kiss Ritzy today, so. I also applied a Too Faced More Than Sway Concealer over the rest of my face. A little bit of Construct Blush from the Makeup Shayla ColourPop Collection. They, they didn't have blushes. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Yuma Beauty did not have blushes, okay? So we're going to go ahead and apply the lipstick so you can see how it looks when you apply it. And the shade that I got was Miriam. And once you open it, it's good for 18 months and it has 3.5 grams of product. These are called a badass. Does not talk about being a badass, okay? And it has Yuma Beauty right here on the side. The container is white. On the bottom, it has its uh, the color name. And like I said, it's good for 18 months and 3.5 grams of product. These retail for $24. Several different shades. I think like maybe 20 different shades, but I picked out this one shade here. This is actually what the packaging looks like when you uh, pick up the product right here. And it's called the Badass Icon uh, Lipstick by Yuma Beauty. So let's go ahead and apply the shade. You guys did see me wearing this earlier in that other clip. And this is how much product you're getting. So like a standard lipstick. And then you do have Yuma Beauty on embossed inside the lipstick not to mention you have badass written on here and one cool thing that i really like about the lipstick is that there is a magnetic closure super nice and it's nice quality it's weighted i think like when people see this they're gonna be like what is that you know This is the color. I think it's super pretty. This is kind of like a mauve brick brown color. With a little bit like a little touch of red. So this is what the lipstick looks like. And this is actually described as a matte lipstick. Hi guys. So I'm on the way to work and I am doing a wear test of the Yuma Beauty Allure palette and this is what it looks like the look is super pretty the eyeshadows are really really glittery so yeah I might look a little extra but I don't care I also have on the lipstick and Miriam and it's super pretty nice comfortable matte so as you can see the time is 10 37 a.m. I put this on about 
mm, 20 minutes ago. So we're gonna see how it lasts. Uh, I get off work at like six and I'll come back and check in. So if you don't remember what the palette looks like, I'm in my bathroom. This is the palette right here. And these are some of the colors I used. I used the color Love, I used the color Romantic right here. And then I used Divine, and then I also used Lady of Gold and a little bit of the shade Allure. I'm sorry, I can't like flip it around right now. So, but that's what I used. So, of course I'm gonna do like a full another look on camera, but I just wanted to get like this wear test kind of like out the way and you guys see me with this little work shirt on, so. And my hair is drying. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, guys, I am back. It is easy. 7 11 p.m. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, it's 7 11 p.m. Back in my bathroom. This is after wearing the Yuma Beauty palette and lipstick for about, well, let's say my shift was seven hours from 11 to six then had it's like seven o'clock now that's eight hours so about eight and a half hours so this is what i am looking like and it looks good it has not faded at all like the glitter really hasn't traveled down my face considering i did not use a glitter glue i just used fix plus to intensify it. Um, the lipstick held up really well. Also, I had a little bit of fading right here. It's more like a comfort matte formula, but I really do like it. Um, I ate a tuna fish sandwich at lunch, so I just had to like touch it up just a little bit, but it wasn't an issue. And overall, I really like the look. I think it came out really well. And I'm gonna do another look for you guys with this palette. So, wear test complete. I think we're looking good. I mean, maybe just a tiny bit of fading, but nothing major, not even any really creasy, not even in there, no. Okay, so I'll go see you guys later in the next look. Let's go ahead and talk about the products that I picked up. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the lipstick because that's probably like the easiest to tackle at the moment. So I really like this lipstick. As you saw in my other little demo video, I wore the lipstick for like eight hours. I didn't have any problem wearing it. It felt very comfortable. The lipstick that I have is described as a matte shade, but it was one of those mattes that's like super comfortable. You're not acutely aware that you're wearing a matte lipstick because you know some matte lipsticks, they can suck every bit of moisture out of your lips. Like your lips just feel like just tight. And as you see, my lips look very like comfortable. I did have a little light lip balm underneath when I wore earlier and at right now. But I just think that it's such a beautiful color. It goes really nice with my skin tone. It can match a wide variety of eye looks because now I have on this green shadow and it goes with that um, versus earlier today when I had on the gold shadow. I think it's beautiful and they come in a lot of different shades. The price is like, oh, it's a little high, but I mean, for a nice lipstick, it's probably on par. Um, you know, I didn't pick up more than one because I'm kind of on a lipstick low buy. I'm just trying to like not bring like 50 billion lipsticks into my collection this year. So that's why I only really picked up one, but I'm not opposed to picking up another sale when Ulta maybe has a sale, another shade, excuse me, when Ulta has a sale. But I really do like the lipsticks. I think they're super comfortable and super nice. And I'm really enjoying it. And I think it just really looks nice with my skin collection. And they have some reds and they have a lot of browns and they have some purple. So I think it's a lot of colors that people will be able to enjoy. I also like the tube and the attention to detail. It's very weighted, it's heavy, it has nice quality, it's very sleek. I like the attention to detail with the humor on the side and then the little saying, a badass did not talk about being a badass. I just love the magnetic closure, like I was saying before. So lipstick is a definite win for me. Now, when we're talking about the palette, I, I like this palette. I mean, it has some cons. Um, so this, the palette right here, let's start with the artwork. The artwork is gorgeous. It drew me in. It's right here. It's embossed. It's rubberized. And the outside packaging came the same way. You have the Yuma Beauty and then you have the Black Magic. And then it uh, says on the back which particular palette it is. Now, um, 
the color scheme of this palette is so pretty. And then once again, you have a lot of attention to detail. You have the allure. And right here at the top, it says powerfully attract the charm. And it says that it's a verb. And then eyes of goddess. Yes, please. You're looking at them. So it's so cute because it's like when it's looking at it, it's like, yes, these are the eyes of a goddess. I mean, it's like something to make you feel good about yourself while you're using the product. So I can definitely get with that. And depending, like, especially because of what the brand stands by there, you know, basically focusing on people who are not very included in the makeup community or the makeup industry. So I definitely like how they added that little touch of positivity to the palette. I think this color scheme is gorgeous. You know, uh, this palette was not one of the palettes that was sneak peek. It was the Pose palette, I want to say, that was sneak peek. But once I saw this palette on Ulta, I was like, yes, this color scheme is amazing. So as far as the wear time, I had no problem with the wear time. As you guys can see from my video clips, I stayed on for eight hours. They are definitely very, very shimmery shades. Um, the mattes, I had no problem with the performance of the mattes, except for Ulta and that yellow that yellow is a dud. It is not here to play with us, okay? Because you can barely tell that I have it on here. I mean, you see like a little shine of yellow, but other than that, you see no yellow. The glitter shades are very well done. I have very little fallout. Even through the course of the day, I had no fallout on my face. I did not use a glitter glue. I only used my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to just dampen the shades, and you definitely get the type of pigmentation and the vibrancy that you're looking for um, from the colors when you wet this and so it could just apply to your lips better. I'm imagining that you would get even more payoff probably with a glitter glue. These shades actually kind of reminded me of some of the Pat McGrath special shades. I think they're very high shine, high pigmented glitter shades. And that is really pretty hard to find in a pick in a palette, excuse me, especially with the pigmentation. So some of those shades kind of reminded me of that. I would obviously like in this particular palette to have maybe more of a metallic finish of one of these shades at the top versus all being high glitter, especially like the shade Lady of Gold. It's not as glittery, but I feel like it could be more shimmery now when I'm <laughs> like swatching on my finger here. It has a better payoff than when I was getting on my brush earlier today and I could have just been using the wrong brush. But this is what it looks like. But I think I would like it to be a just a little bit more creamy, a little bit more uh, high impact for this particular shade. But it is a very pretty shade and does have that dual chrome shift from white gold to yellow gold. But overall, I think this color palette, this palette layout is stunning. I think the color selection is stunning. I love how there's a deep aubergine in this palette to deepen your looks and you're not dependent on the black. And the green is really nice. I didn't have any problems with blush. Like I said, the only shade that I had an issue with was this yellow. And I wish that it actually did perform, you know. But I'll give them a pass. Yellow is very hard to formulate. Super hard. Even like with that ColourPop yellow and that Makeup Shayla palette, I did have to use a white concealer to make it stand out. However, this yellow is so thin, I don't know. If I use a white concealer, would it make a difference? So, take it or leave it. But I think these shimmers are so beautiful. They're so impactful. I think my eyes look so pretty right now. You know, I am good for a good glitter, okay? I do not mind glitter. If you're not a person that doesn't like glitter, this palette might not be for you. Just, you know, because it's all the shimmer shades are glitter. But this shade called Enchantress is one of my favorite shades. The shade called Mystical. The shade called Allure. I mean, I'm I'm loving this. I love this. All of these colors. The only thing, like I said, for me was a dud is this shade. So I'm definitely going to keep playing with this palette. I did order the other three palettes. The other two palettes that came out, excuse me. They finally were released on Ulta Beauty. So I will be talking about all three of the palettes once I get them in my possession and doing looks on those two. But as far as the Allure palette, I do really like it. I think that the price point, $44, eh, it's very steep. Um, however, you can kind of try it. No must, no fuss. You don't like it, you take it back to Ulta. They have a great return policy. So because you can purchase it from Ulta Beauty, you know, it just really makes it a lot easier for you to try out a new brand. You know, especially when something costs $44 and you never even heard of them. You're like, who, who are these folks? 
I know you're new to the scene, but oh, but okay, who are you? So, um, I really like the palette so far. I don't have any uh, negatives other than just that I think it could be in the $34 range. I think you're a little bit, they're pushing mid range, so I guess uh, Yuma Beauty is going to come off as a mid range brand, which is fine. I mean, but I just think that technically that this palette could probably be in the third the other mark am i going to return it no i think it's beautiful yes i'm in love with the shimmers and i'll definitely be using it again so let me know if you're going to pick up any of the palettes or anything from yuma beauty are you interested in this brand have you been checking for it or are you just kind of trying to get your feet wet and see what all is going on with all the reviews that are coming out with this particular palette that is out first and remember they did release two more palettes so i'll be coming to you with those uh videos as soon as i get them in my possession but i think like this brand is a very pleasant surprise i wasn't expecting it and it definitely really wasn't on anybody's radar until it was like the promotional pictures were released it was like surprise right here so just let me know what you think down below in the comments give this video a big thumbs up and you know i will be back very soon with a new video and i hope whatever i say in this little wrap-up part made any type of sense because i feel like i'm tired and my thoughts are coming, but they're not really quite translating. <laughs> so <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Do my chair dance.